This is the last time we're ever going to see this gold Victor Wembanyama. Because yes, we've now upgraded him to his Ruby version. As if you look at the upgrade checklist right here, you can see we didn't actually complete everything. But I did say in last episode, every 1,500 of your likes equaled one block. And every 100 likes after that equaled one rebound. And you guys went absolutely crazy. As on that video, we got over 4,500 likes. Which means, yes, thank you so much. Because this episode, is the debut of Ruby Victor Wembanyama. And this card is such a big upgrade for us because he's an 85 on offense and 81 on defense. But if we look at his stats, he's just so much better than the gold version. Like he can actually run around the floor. He's got a 98 block, which will be extremely nice. He's got 25 speed, which is a little bit annoying, but this one also comes with some badges, including anchor, which is going to be absolutely massive for us. So are you guys ready to see the team? Three, two, one, bam. This is the team right here. It just looks so so much nicer with Ruby Victor Wembanyama sitting in that center position. But the best part about this card is he can actually play power forward as well. So that means off the bench, I might actually give him some time at the power forward position. But as of right now, this is the squad we're rocking with. As last episode, we were able to pick up this pink diamond Danny Green. Also one of the best pink diamonds being Franz Wagner. And finally, pink diamond Hassan Whiteside. So I can't lie, I absolutely love the looks of the squad, especially now that we're rocking with Ruby Victor. But it means now with this crazy team, we have to check out the upgrades and downgrades. And you can see them on screen right now, but basically when we're able to do good things with Victor Weminyama, we're able to get MT, but then we can spend on packs and that's how we get our players. But now that we have the Ruby Wemby, these rules are actually going to change. So you can see the changes are on screen right now. We went from it saying we needed 20 points to be able to get 10,000 MT to now 25 points. Also, it went from five dunks to now seven dunks to be able to get another 10,000 MT. Everything else for the upgrades stayed the same, but then when we come across and look at the downgrades. It went from five turnovers being minus 10,000 MT to now four turnovers being minus 10,000 MT. And finally, it went from shooting under 50% from the free throw line being another minus 10,000 MT to now shooting under 75% from the free throw line. So yes, the rules have changed a little bit, but that's because we've got a better card as I don't want it to stay the same the entire time. But one thing that does stay the same is your guys' top comment rules. And you went crazy because we once again had over 300 comments on the last episode. And now it's time to see your guys suggestions for episode four so the top comment was by luca to and this one's pretty cool it says since Wemby is an international player not from usa every player on the opposing team who is an international player you get 20,000 mt but that's a little bit too much mt so we're actually going to change it to 10,000 mt and i really like this one because the nba is a very international game and you have players such as Embiid, nikola Jokic, and patty mills who are all examples of international players yeah i had to chuck patty in there i'm not going to deny it <laughs> anyway then the next top comment was by Aiden Blumenthal Arsenal and I really like this one as it's super simple it says since Wemby's career high is 38 if you score 38 points with Wemby you get 38,000 MT so it's seriously that simple but I think it's a great top comment and hopefully it's going to end up being a lot easier now that we have his Ruby version anyway now we have another one of my favorite things being the bonus comment rule this is the comment that I just picked because I like it and it may have zero likes as well this one literally has zero and it's by Gamer X, and it says for the next next one, you should play me. Not going to happen. Sorry. <laughs> this series is about us playing online against other players. However, for every point you win by, you get 1000 MT. For every point you lose by, you lose 1000 MT. So this one could be great. If we win by 30 points, we make 30,000 MT. But if we lose by 30, we lose 30,000 MT. We don't want that to happen. And that's the thing I love about the top comment rules is that all your guys suggestions. So be sure to leave your top comment rule suggestions down below in this episode, as I love to see what you guys come up with for the next one. But hey, did I tell you that your guys' support went crazy? Once again, just look at all these comments you guys left on the last episode. Thank you so much. But I have to say a big thank you for something else. We got the most amount of likes we've ever got on a Wemby's Legacy episode. And as you may know, each one of your likes equals 20 MT, which is about to be absolutely crazy because from the last episode, we got exactly 4,580 likes, which means we have to times that by 20 and add what we have left over. What in the world? What in the world? Give me us nine. 97,070 MT. And that's just to start this episode. And to think we have this squad already to start with almost 100,000 MT, I'm excited to see how it goes. And we have these Maestro packs right here, which obviously have 100 overall Dirk, also some insane Galaxy Opals, but some really good pink diamonds that will be great on the squad too. So I guess it's just time to get into these packs. Let's do our first. And we're looking for these shakes. Really, it's shake or bust now. If we don't see a shake, it's not going to be great. And this one right here, a gold, that ain't going to work. But yeah, as we're opening up these 
Packs, I have to say a big thank you to you guys for your support on this series. Literally, it goes absolutely crazy and it means the world because obviously, as we get Josh Green there, shout out to Australia. These episodes take a long time to make and a long time to record, a long time to edit. So it means the world when we see so much support of them. As we do get a Ruby, there's potential that this Ruby could be usable on the squad. Pascal Siakam, I don't think so. Our bigs are actually quite stacked right now. And this hasn't gone great so far. We haven't seen a single shake, but Maestro, please come clutch and hit us with one. No, we got a Sapphire in the middle. Okay, um, that wasn't great. And now I don't even have enough MT for another pack. Meaning from all that MT, we made um zero changes to this squad. But obviously the biggest change in this entire episode is the fact that we have the Ruby Victor Wembenyama. And you may be looking at this Wemby and you may know he has a big upgrade ahead of him. As his next card is this pink diamond version of him. And I can't wait until we're able to get this card onto the squad. So you may be wondering, how are we able to get it? Well, you can see here, we have a brand new upgrade checklist. Where yes, we have to accomplish all of these stats with the Ruby Victor Wembenyama to be able to then upgrade him to get the final reward of pink diamond Wemby. So yes, that means we have to accumulate over 200 points, 50 rebounds, 10 blocks, 15 steals. And the final one, I'm gonna need your guys' help for. No matter how many episodes it takes, we need 10,000 likes over however many episodes to be able to upgrade to this version. So be sure to smash the like button on this episode. So hopefully we can get this pink diamond Wemby soon, but also be sure to smash the like button because each one of your likes now equals 10 MT. Yes, because we have the Ruby version now, it's been changed to 10 MT. So your like still means a lot towards the series and also myself. So be sure to smash that like button. You know what I'm saying? And yeah, that's pretty much it. We've got this squad right here. It's Ruby Wemby's debut. I'm excited to see what he can do for us. Unfortunately, we're one and four in the series so far, but now that we've got this card, I'm hoping he can change that. So anyway, I'm excited to see how this game goes. Without further ado, let's get into it. Oh no, my opponent definitely has a good team, but we've got our Ruby Wemby now, and I'm so excited for him to finally be on the court and lose the tip straight away. We're also going against Chet Holmgren. We're going against Galaxy Opal, James Harden, and I think our point guards right now are our biggest issue in our squad, so we need good defense to start out. I know he's going to kick it out to Chet. He does. He pulls the three. Wemby he pulls down his first rebound straight away. We love to see that because, man, it was hard in the past to get rebounds with this card. Now let's get a Ruby Wemby screen and roll. Kick it down to him this time versus James Harden. Back out to the corner. Franz Wagner, what do you got for me? Back out to Wemby. Wemby, go up. Easy two points. I tell you what, we can't really complain about that start. One rebound and also two points. Pretty good. And now Marcus Camby, can we get our first assist with him? We will. Yo, what a rebound there by Victor Wembanyama, and he's going to get us another assist. Speaking of Chris Stapps, though, that is an international player, so I'm not complaining about seeing him. We need to kick this. Oh, no. Oh, no. This is not good. Okay, well, I had to shoot that. I had to shoot that. Don't ask me why I didn't. Against Chris Stapps this time, he's just off-balling it, but we're going to the line with Wemby. That's a defensive three. We better make the free throw. We do. The only annoying thing about this Wemby is the fact that, yes, his speed is still at a 25. So on these pick and rolls, like, he can get through, but he can't really make the great of passes and man oh man this is not a good sign here oh my word we do win the jump which i guess is a good thing and now lamello ball let's make up for that dive and hit the three yo his heart is injured that might actually help us kind of crazy in this entire series so far we haven't even got a double double with victor Wembanyama yet but hopefully this is going to be the time that that changes and Wemby this time yeah, man, that's tough. That's real tough. But Franz Wagner for the three. Oh, we might get a good inbound here and then a wide open score to Victor Wembanyama. If he jumps, that's just clamping. That is absolutely clamp defense right there. But Wemby, yeah, I don't think we're going to score here. Or are we? We do. And we're down by three at the end of the first quarter. But I have to check something real quick. Let's check for his international players. I can already see one being, yes, Kristaps Porzingis. Obviously, Luka Doncic as well. Sengun as well. Then there's Embiid. Also, Victor Wemanyama. And I'll have to do research on the others. But man, that's at least 40,000 MT right there. Okay, what about we try a three with him? Because I think he thinks that I'm only really going to go for the two but we're going for the dunks now. Okay, this should be a score to Wemby. It's an N1. Let's go. That's too nasty, Wemby. Too nasty. Let's... Oh, he did make it good. Oh, that's an inbound steal. Wemby just got us an inbound steal. Now let's give it back to front to Marcus Camby for the slam. He's got Opal LeBron, which is definitely a card I'm scared about. That's perfect defense there by Wemby. He has to pass that out. Why did he jump there? I do not know. It gives him a wide open three. Like, I guarantee you on everything, I did not press triangle there to jump with that card. But I think Wemby's about to get takeover, which is going to be absolutely perfect. Now let's kick it out to him this time. And then let's go into the post. Franz Wagner. 
I don't think that's in. It is not. It is not. But we do get the rebound back out to France this time. France ain't missing that one. And I think this might be one of the first times ever in the series. But Wemby has takeover. Wemby has takeover, which is just great to see. So let's at least get a good play this time. I know Wemby can do it, especially with takeover. He should be able to get us some easy scores. I like that one right there. We just need to make sure we still stick to our game. And that right there probably isn't our game. Making a pass like that isn't going to work. And Joel Embiid is sprinting up the floor, but luckily we're quick enough to be able to get back. And Wemby reads that pass like a book and gets us that steal. Daddy Green down low. He got blocked. What about another steal to Wemby? He gets us another one. Let's go. Straight after it. Then I give us a... Bro, <laughs> what am I doing? What in the world am I doing? Literally, all I had to do there was just make the right play. Instead, I made a terrible read. And it gives him a wide open two like that. So... Anyway, it's fine. Sometimes that happens. Sometimes that happens. And sometimes you just have to lift your head and go, it's okay. We ended up getting two steals in that possession anyway. Back out to Wemby this time. His first three in the game. Let's go. That's our first three in the entire Wemby's legacy. Oh, that's another steal. Yo, he just picked it up behind his back. Why do I keep on getting a turnover straight after? Don't even ask me. Let's jump at that. That's good defense. What? Bro, we were playing so well. Now we're down by seven. Oh, that's okay. Okay, here's Wemby down low here. Another slam. There we go. That's another steal. Okay, Kyrie Irving in transition this time. Back out to Danny Green. Back down to our boy Wemby. Getting another one. I'll keep on telling you my issue. And my issue is just my guards. Wemby for three again. Let's go. I don't think we even like attempted a three with him in the past. And in this, we've already shot and made two threes in this game. So, Wemby, what about another two points? He's too good. All I want is just now pick and fades because I I know we can at least make the three. So let's kick this one to the corner. That's a great pass. Back down to Wemby this time. Let's go up and dunk on him. And look, you may look at our offense and go, oh yeah, that's looking pretty good. You know, you're getting scores left, right, and center. I am, but I just can't get a stop. That's our biggest issue right now. So, oh bro, that's almost another turnover against him. Would not have been happy if that had happened. And now, oh my word, this is not good. Like not a great possession. Still not a great possession. Really not a great possession. But sometimes the worst possessions end up working out. Bruh. Oh, that's it. Whoa, Wemby, are you kidding me? He just got us a snatch block. He literally just got a snatch block. I missed. I missed the play. I missed the play. But he just got us a snatch block in that situation. Are you kidding me? Victor Weminyama, what in the world was that? He's going to make that shot, is he? What? That's probably the craziest play we've got. Can we just talk about these highlight plays we're actually getting with Victor Weminyama in this game? It is crazy. Like, we've hit a couple of threes. We've got a couple of dunks. We've also missing another duck oh that's one that we definitely cannot miss and now he's gonna get a wide open lob to paul george we're down by 13 and i don't want to lose a lot of mt in this game so let's give it out to france france with takeover you ain't me there's i actually missed that i there's no way i missed that shot we're now still down by 13 with takeover two i missed it what i need 14 more points with wemby please finish that good wemby pulls down his fourth rebound it's a bit annoying that we started so strong with the boards and now we just can't get a single one but wemby's actually playing power forward now which is extremely interesting he almost gets us a turnover he does get us Oh, his passing stats are so bad. And now I can't even get there to be able to stop that. And he hits it on me. He gets a wide open three in the corner. He misses. Hassan Whiteside pulls down his fourth rebound. Don't ask me how in one quarter he's got four rebounds in the entire game. Wemby only has four as well. We go into the line here. We need to make both of these. Wemby, good. And for the second one, it's good as well. And I can't believe this, but I really need to lock in and make sure my opponent doesn't take a final shot, which he doesn't. Okay, so we ended up losing what? By, let's do maths, 17 points. 17 points isn't great. Especially in Ruby Wemby's debut, but at least the card was a lot better. Because looking at his stats, he did play absolutely insane. He in 20 minutes, having 28 points, four rebounds, seven assists, six steals, which is crazy. He had that one snatch block, which was one of the best blocks I've ever seen. But then yes, seven turnovers. That's not great at all. Fortunately, he did shoot extremely well from all places of the floor. And what? Had three dunks, so it wasn't too bad. I just couldn't stop my opponent though. He shot 74%. That's tough. But it does mean when we check the upgrades and downgrades now, we ended up getting 25 or more points, which is 10,000 MT. And unfortunately, that's it. That's all we got. That's it for the upgrades. And now we have to look at the downgrades once again. Because in this game, we lost, which is minus 15,000. And then we had 
four or more turnovers, which is another minus 10,000. Meaning from this upgrades and downgrades screen right here, we lost 15,000 MT. I mean, it could have been a lot worse, but still it's not great. But it's not all bad news because when we look at the top comment rule, we unfortunately weren't able to get 38 points, which is Wemby's career high. But what we were able to do is go against a bunch of international players. Because looking at my opponent's team, he's certainly had quite a few of them. I just need to go through and make sure my research is 100% correct. And yeah, so I've finished up my research and he had five international players. First of all, starting with Luka Doncic. And I have to say, I'm so sorry for these pronunciations. He was born in Lodzabijana, Slovenia. <laughs> yeah, I so don't know, sorry. Then next up, we have Joel Embiid, who was born in Yaoande in Cameroon. Then next up, we have Alperen Sengun, who was born in Girison, Turkey. Then we have Kristaps Porzingis, who was born in Lyapijat, Latvia. And finally, we obviously have Victor Wembanyama, who was born in La Chesne, France. I don't know how many of those I got right as for the pronunciations, but what I do know is because we played against five international players, that gives us 50,000 MT, which is such a W. But you want to know what is an L? If we look at the bonus comment rule, we unfortunately lost this game by 17 points, which means, yes, we lose 17,000 MT towards our total. So now it's time to do some maths. So from the upgrades and downgrades, we lost 15,000 MT. Then from the top comment rule, we made 50,000 MT, meaning that gives us 35,000 MT if we minus what we lost from the upgrades and downgrades. And then we have to minus 17,000 MT off 35,000 MT, which gives us 18,000 MT, doesn't it? Yeah, 18,000 MT. Meaning, yes, from this game, although we lost, we actually did make 18,000 MT, which isn't too bad. Especially because it was a good test run with this new squad, with our star player being Ruby Victor Weminyama. This card was so much better than the gold, as we actually made a couple of threes, and he got that crazy block. But now we have just over 30,000 MT, and I want to do another Maestro pack. We need to see a shake in this one, so let's do it. Please, 2K. I just want to see something good. We need something good towards the Wemby's legacy team. And it's no shake once again. It's an amethyst coach or something. It's a gold player. Are you kidding me? I'm not using Corey Kisper. I'm going to allow myself to go into the negatives and we're going to do one rush pack though. I don't want to just do one pack after that big game. Wemby played so well, let's do one rush pack. And let's see if we can get anything good from this one. Please hit me with a shake. That's all we're looking for. And we do get one. Okay, rush. Please be an amethyst. No, higher than an amethyst. I want like a diamond or higher. Bam. It's an amethyst. The amethyst actually could work, I think, though. Let's see what amethyst this is going to be. I kind of forgot which ones they are. Power forward is that... Um, I can't even remember who this is. I can't remember who came out in the rush set. This is going to be Isaac Austin. I don't know if this card is good. I'm going to say that he's not. Oh, he actually doesn't look too bad. So at least we added one new player off the bench, being this Isaac Austin. But I actually want to make a couple more changes to the squad. And this is it right here. We're rocking Wemby at power forward for this game, side by side with Hassan Whiteside. And then the bench actually looks really good too. This next game, I actually have to use my bench. I'll tell you that. But yes, it means now that still the upgrades and downgrades all stick. The top comment rules are both the same as well and the bonus comment rule as well. And you can see the upgrade checklist is ticking off, but we may be one in five, which isn't great at all. So let's hope we can get a win in this episode and let's hope power forward Wemby can play well for us. And without further ado, let's get into this next game. This is another amazing team. And man, I'm a little bit nervous to go against this one, but let's see how we're able to go with LeBron on Victor Wembanyama. This is one issue is the speed against this card is going to be so hard, but at least we've got a good starting lineup. Except for our Wemby, everyone is actually a really good card. And let's give him a wide open three straight away. Okay. It's just so hard for the time that I started this series to be able to actually play well. And we need to give this one to Hassan Whiteside this time. You can see it's another off baller. Like... How many off-ballers are we going to go against is the real question. Let's get Victor Weminyama on a pick and roll this time against LeBron James. Kick it down to him this time. Go up and get the two. It's funny that I complained about his goal the entire time. And then as soon as we get the pink diamond, I'm still complaining about how slow he is. But I think you guys can see why. And... Oh, I kind of need something better there. I kind of do. Um, what about Hassan Whiteside down low? I like this. I like the end one too. Maybe I can't run him at power forward just because he is so slow at that position. That's not a great shot. It's a rebound to Wemby. We started off well with the rebounds last game, but then we ended very quiet. We're going to the line again. And that one was lucky. I'm not going to lie. But we make the first. And Danny Green, another expert, will make the second too. What a rebound there by Wemby. I did not expect him to be able to get that one. And now he's almost got takeover again. He's starting strong in this game. Victor Wembanyama 4-3. Bruh, I need to hit that. Oh, 
<laughs> oh, no way. Back court. Okay, we got to start. I tell you what, we certainly deserve that. Wemby this time. Back to back threes. Let's go. Wemby. That's mid range. That's his first mid range. It's green. That should be a steal. It is a steal. Okay, we're at least starting really well in this game. Franz Wagner, back out to you. Let's give it to our boy Wemby. Back out to Franz. Um, Wemby. Yep. Let's go baseline on LeBron. Let's go pump fake that. Back up to Hassan. Hassan will slam it. And that's the thing that I've noticed. A lot of the times we start well, but then don't finish great just because the players get so tired. But Wemby this time. Let's run it inside this time and see if we can finish. We do the lay. And I personally don't believe it, but once again in this episode, Wemby has takeover, which is so nice to see because it was so hard to get on his gold card. But at least with this one and with him at power forward, we've actually been able to do it. Hassan Whiteside, back out to you. Let's get another assist to Victor Wemanyama. That's another rebound. That's rebound number three. We're actually on track for a triple double here, which is good to see. And back to Wemby this time. Let's take it all the way and let's finish the acrobatic lay. Just like that, we're up by three points. Could not tell you how big a three would be here, Wemby. How big it would... Uh, okay, well, it almost didn't work, but it might work out because we get the assist anyway. Jump up here. That's a block. That's a huge block by Victor Weminyama. Let's go. This card is so much better at blocking. It is actually insane. Back out to Wemby this time. Let's see how we go against Kristaps Porzingis once again. Pick and fade. I love the pick and fades with him. Let's pull the mid-range shot. Wemby misses. Oh my word. This Hassan Whiteside is the dream to our answers. Is that what it, even the saying is? I don't even know what the saying is, but there we go with Wemby again. I'm not going to deny it. It definitely took me some time to get used with him, and that's the reason why we we weren't able to really shoot any shots with him, but now I'm actually shooting with him. And my word is making me a lot happier. Wemby, 4-3. Yes, let's go. Another block. Dude, that was still good defense though. That was great defense. Now our boy LaMelo Ball has takeover. And the only reason he has takeover is because he has been feeding a Victor Weminyama. He's been feeding Victor Weminyama that ball. And now he's getting his own score. Wemby, I see you on the inside here. Can he score on Chris Dapps? Yes, he can. And we are just playing some insane defense right now with the squad. Wemby in transition. He hits another three. This is what we expected by Victor Weminyama. One of the most hyped up players in the NBA. And he gets his own rebound and now he pulls out and then he pulls the three. He misses that one though. We've got four rebounds with this Victor Wembanyama. Let's run on the inside and get his seal. All right. Um, not really what I expected. We were on a full-on roll and then a LeBron James just comes out and has to snatch block me like that. Like that's the one time I don't want that have to have happen. And now we're missing a layup. That's my bad too. I needed to get a better release there and instead... He gets, oh my word. 2K is just bailing him out now. Okay, Wemby pulls down his fifth rebound because he missed a free throw, which is great to see. And now I want to look back at him. He's got Sean Marion on him though, which is now one of the best defenders in the game on this Victor Weminyama. But Franz Wagner doesn't care. I'm just scared of this Sean Marion now. Like he's just such a good defender that I'm really going to struggle against him. But that's a good pass for a good finish too. Another rebound. That's rebound number six to Victor Weminyama. We are fully on track for a triple double in this game, which is going to be so nice if we're actually able to do it. And you know what? Wemby, you got that board. You pulled it down for me. What about you hit a big three? Or what about you just get another assist? He can't stop it with his off ball. We're just scoring out Will. We are up by 15 points. What? Okay, we're playing so well. And you know one thing I just remembered? We have to check how many international players he has. So let's have a little look. Obviously, he has Chris Dapps, That's one. Franz Wagner is another one. Oh, Andrew Wiggins is from Canada. I know that. Obviously, Victor Weminyama. And I think that's it. That's still a lot of MT there, though. And obviously, it's the start of the second half and obviously we've still got Wemby on the floor. I thought he was going to jump there. I really thought he was going to jump and instead he might be getting a steal against me. Okay, let's just hope that he backs off and now we can give it to Lamelo, then um, run it up to the top, then pull his three. Lamelo ball, greens, let's go. And now we've got my entire bench on except obviously we've got Victor Wembanyama on the floor and obviously we're just going to keep on running these pick and fades because they are working a charm that's why we need Pick Diamond Wemby. That is absolutely why we need that card. Like, bro, that seriously shouldn't be possible. Like, that type of play just should not be possible. Back out to Wemby this time for a wide open two. He got it to go. Is him playing power forward what I needed this entire time? I don't know. It's now only an eight point ball game. My opponent has definitely come back. But as we know, Wemby has been playing extremely well. I just called a few timeouts as well to hope that we can just start playing that little bit better. 
and that's not going to work for us. But maybe the pass out to Gordon Haywood will for three. And we just go to transition take. So Wemby's taking the free throw. He got it to go. All I need is one more assist for the double-double. And instead, I just got a turnover. Now he's going to kick it to his Wemby. We need to watch this corner pass. We actually play really good defense against it, but... We are not stopping this Sean Marion. That's the one thing I'll tell you straight away. We're up by 15 points. Now we're only up by like seven, which is not good. So, oh my word, I can't stop. That's an insane steal. That is an insane steal. Now we need to watch this pass to Aaron, Andrew. That has to be, there's no, there's actually no way. It might be time to call in the starters because my word, this bench is not playing well. Here's Kyrie Irving. We got bailed out there. Galaxy Opal, Andrew Wiggins versus Victor Wembanyama. Yep, it's over. I literally just need one more assist and I'm finding getting this assist is so hard. But Wemby this time, let's pump fake this and then let's just, oh my word. This card is like so slow. Like so, so, so slow. You don't even understand. He makes another three. Okay, this should be the assist. This should be it. Hassan gets it good. Get that out of here. What a block by our boy Franz Wagner. Let's give it back to him this time. Back to Hassan and put us up by five. Let's run this one baseline. Okay, well, that's still great defense. And it's probably a turnover here. No, it's not. Franz Wagner's carrying right now. Need some big defense on this possession. We are playing so well on the defensive end against his starters. And it's all on the back of this Victor Wembanyama. Let's keep it up. Let's keep that hand up. Four seconds left on the clock. Don't you dare score. This is great defense. And we get the block to finish it off. It's going to be tough for us to get the triple-double that I want, but we are going to get another two points with Wemby. It is only a three-point game. With 30 seconds to go, I need to make sure I score. I don't know who I'm going to score with, but Hassan Whiteside, back out to you. Now, Victor Wembanyama, you're the man. You're the ruby that we've just picked up onto this squad. Let's pump fake this. Oh, my word. What am I doing? I should have taken the mid-range shot. I really should have. Back out to Wemby this time. Wemby with the fading three. He got it to go. Victor Wembanyama, you are a star. Yo, what a shot to win the game. There's no way he's winning this now. There is absolutely no way. We actually just made a fading three with the Ruby Victor Weminyama. That's a 72 three ball and he still made it. Get that out of here. Can he miss this shot? No, he doesn't. Okay, he makes that one, but all we have to do is get a safe inbound. One second left. And we just won our first official game. That was one of the craziest games I've ever played. We beat such a good team and it's all on the back of Victor Wembanyama. What a game. Look at Wemby in this game. 20 minutes, 29 points, 8 rebounds, 11 assists, 1 steal and 1 block. Only 2 turnovers. He shot over 50% from the field. He also had 4 threes, 100% from free throw and had 2 dunks as well. But most importantly, we actually won. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. What about that? three. What about that three? As yes, in exciting news, it means now when we look at the upgrades and downgrades, we got 25 or more points with him. And then we also got the win. We were so close to getting a triple double, which is a little bit annoying. But that means from that, we got 40,000 MT. And then when we look at the downgrades, we did none of them. Literally not a single one. And now it's time to look at the top comment rule. Unfortunately, we weren't able to score 38 points with him, but we did go against a bunch of international players. You can see his squad right here. And yes, there are definitely a few right here. So let me do some research. And yes, he ended up having four international players on his team. First of all, he had Andrew Wiggins, who was born in Thornhill, Canada. Then he also had Franz Wagner, who was born in Berlin, Germany. And then next up, he had two that I cannot pronounce again, being Kristaps Porzingis from Lepeja, Latvia. And then finally, he had Victor Weminyama, who was born in Lechesne, France. So that's an additional 40,000 MT from that right there. And also, when we look at the bonus comment rule, we ended up winning this game by three points, which means we get an additional 3,000 MT. So now it's time to do the maths again. So we made 40,000 MT from this screen, then another 40,000 MT from this, and then we made 3,000 MT. That's not hard maths because that ends up at 83,000 MT. And what a game it was. Let's just reminisce this three for one sec. We set that screen, we kick it back out to Wemby, the fading three, and he gets it to go. I can't believe it. Because yes, that's pretty much our first official win in Wemby's legacy. Our first one was a rage quit but that one was one of our best yet. And I have to give a huge congrats to this team right here, especially that man right there. Ruby Victor Weminyama, you absolutely carried us and made one of the biggest shots I've ever seen. But now we have almost 80,000 MT to spend on these maestro packs. So let's do it. Surely we have to get a shake out of them. We've opened up so many of these and we deserve a shake just like that. Could you imagine if this is a Galaxy Opal? That would just cap off this episode like absolute crazy. Maestro, I'm feeling Maestro, bam.
Okay, it's just a pink diamond. We haven't seen a Galaxy Opal in this series yet, but there are some good pink diamonds in this. Center. This is an issue. I don't think I need another center. Like, uh, maybe a backup power... F I don't even know. Am I going to use Vucevic over Marcus Camby? I mean, maybe, yeah. Actually, I don't know. It's still a good pull, though. Next one up. I'm glad to see a shake. That's what we want to see. I want to see one more in these few packs that we're opening right here. One more shake. Okay, not in this one. And it's another Ruby, though. You never know what this could be. It's Jarrett Allen. We just pulled centers in the series. That's it. And now for one of our final packs. Our final Maestro pack. Shake for me. No shake again. Only one pink diamond this episode. I tell you what, for how crazy that game was, we will end in the negatives with a rush pack to finish it off. And let's hope we can pull that Galaxy Opal Andrew Wiggins because that card went crazy against us. And again, no shake. All right, well, that was not worth it. Let's compare the pair. Who do we prefer here? Obviously, Vucevic is a better shooter, but Camby is a better defender. He's quicker. I think Camby's so much better. And Marcus Camby is a goat of this series. But yes, I think I'm actually going to stick with this card. So we certainly didn't make too many changes to the team this episode, but yet again, Again, we made the biggest of them all. As we now have the Ruby Wemby on the team. And I tell you what, I certainly showed you why this card is a lot better than his goal. As what an episode it was. Be sure to smash that like button down below. As you know, each one of your likes equals 10 MT. It helps the series so much. And I also really appreciate it. And remember too, it also goes towards Wemby's checklist where we'll hopefully be able to get the pink diamond version soon. Also be sure to leave your top comment rule suggestions down below as I love reading through them as you guys just make this series so much more fun. And finally, we are now now two and five and hopefully we can keep up this win streak so man that was absolutely crazy i hope you guys enjoyed be sure to smash that like button subscribe for new follow me on tiktok twitter and instagram and that's pretty much it i'll catch you guys in my next video bye